Hello again, my brethren, and welcome. Before you ask, did I get a haircut today? And no, I got a mall cut. Well, Zephyr got reworked a while ago, <clears throat> and actually I quite like it. I think they made a lot of good changes for her, and she's just a lot more fun and a lot more useful now. I mainly have been using her for her Funnel Clouds augment, but recently been turned on to using Jetstream more, and the reason I have is mainly with the introduction of the Prisma Twin Gremlins and my increased usage of the Archiplasmor. So why do I like it? The movement speed and the projectile speed increase is very beneficial, and that can be granted to allies as well, as long as they're within your affinity range, if they can keep up with you. The other reason I like it is because it incentivizes you to build for something other than strength, in this case duration. The side benefit, other than the ability lasting longer, is that it increases the speed and the range of her Tailwind ability. How fast is it? Faster than a Hollywood marriage ending. It's faster than an embarrassing tweet coming out from Trump. Faster than Harvey Weinstein going after a new actress. Faster than people getting offended in America. Faster than... Damn it, I had something for this. Alright, with 300% duration, you can... Holy shit. Okay, so here is Jetstream, which increases movement speed by 40 and your projectile flight speed by 100%, not just for you, but for your allies as well. Now, as you see, I have everything geared towards duration, which I use Prime Continuity, Constitution, Algor Message, and Narrow Minded. The range I do not believe is that important. The greater range will help you hopefully avoid, like let's say, some direct hits with rockets. But it's because of the blast radius of most of them, it's not really going to be making that much of a difference. So if you sacrifice it, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, strength is still here, even though really not needed. That's if and when I want to use tornadoes, I can still do so. And I have a Prime Flow in here just to keep my energy pool up. And I have Physique in here because I still haven't repolarized this, and I need to. And I'll probably put something like Corrosive Projection in. Now for the Arcanes, I do Arcane Range, which this is the one that's going to be for your rifle, so it's going to be good for your Archiplasmor. And Arcane Awakening is kind of the same for uh, the pistols as well, in that when you reload, which the Prisma Twin Gremlins reload really fast, you're going to be having this buff on a lot, and that already does a ton of damage, so it's just even more damage that's just flying at the enemies 100% faster. And these are the weapons that I bring, an Archiplasmor geared for whatever I'm going to be using, and the same with the Twin Gremlins. And probably the best place to be using the Jetstream is in the planes, where you can just really zip around the map at will and just kind of go wherever you want at basically the speed of an arc wing but not being confined to an arc wing in itself. Now another thing that's kind of nice about it is kill these guys is you can hold down when you're on the ground you can hold down charge it up and you can fly and from here if you really need to, you can snipe your enemies. Pretty nice feature. And then from there, if you hit it again, you can just fly. Or you can tail bomb. Or dive bomb, whatever it's called. Or if you just want out of it, you can also just do a quick melee. Let me show that. Just do a quick melee and you'll come down. Kind of like how you would out of Arcwing. Pretty nifty. Another big reason I like to use this build is that it's an alternative tanky build that you can run in most missions, though I do not recommend bringing it to infested missions since they deal mainly melee damage. In just about every other mission, however, it would be hard for you to take damage if you stay mobile. With the extra projectile flight speed, it also makes you rethink about what you can bring 
into a mission as far as weapons and be successful since you don't have to lead targets as much and therefore you'll be more accurate. So give it a shot and definitely use her in the planes every once in a while since that is an area where she can truly shine. And the GeForce 1070 Ti giveaway is still going on so make sure to check the link in the description so you can get in on it. And so subscribe for more content because I still want to do more. And I'm actually going to leave you with something a little different today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think oh, you oh, people want to see if he squats oh, with you. Oh, uh, no. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, exactly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there he is, little guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does the same thing. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna That is scream. the best feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does it. Yep. Because I didn't know if it would cool be the same way. Whoever implemented that is promoted. Uh, yeah. They Fantastic. are promoted.